Hey Toy Fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing and this time it is of AEW Wrestling's Unrivaled Collection and this is from Series 5, the AEW World Champion, John Moxley. Um, this figure came out a couple years ago uh, already, um, but I've been so far behind on my wrestling figures I'd figure I'd uh, go through a couple of them, ones that I've been sitting on for a while. Um, but this is, I haven't opened too many of these Unrivaled Collection uh, figures from, where is it, uh, the uh, the company. It is not Jax. Uh, it is Jazzwares. But, um, yeah, I like the ones that I've opened so far. Um, a, Jericho, a couple of Jerichos and the, the Cody Rhodes. Um, thought they were all pretty neat figures. The Kenny Omega as well, so. Let's uh, let's see what's what this figure has to offer. Looks like he has a couple accessories. Um, you got the AEW brand. You got the number of the figure in the collection, Series Five, number thirty-seven, and other figures in the wave. The other wrestlers, and you got John Moxley holding the AEW Championship. So let's um, let's see how this figure. Uh, actually looks in hand and uh, if it's uh, fun to play with or not so let's see if I can get this get this tape um, anyways um, if you don't know I'm a huge huge wrestling fan have been a lifer since I, since I was a kid I remember um, watching Saturday night's main event when I was a youngster Wrestlemania's the Saturday morning uh, wrestling was my stuff between uh, both, what do you call it, um, Superstars of Wrestling and then uh, WCW when they were in like Disney World or Disneyland. I'm not trying to save this package, so I'm just going to just obliterate it. Um, but anyways, let's see... Uh, Let's see what this Mox looks like. Uh, looks like he is... I don't know if he's... If he's rubber banded. I don't know what the title is. Let's see. Okay. So. Figure doesn't uh, feel too bad. Actually it looks uh, a little better out of the package. It, it, through the package he was looking... A little bit I don't know didn't have a just didn't look too highly detailed but in hand it's not looking too bad um, you can see his hair is a bit reddish uh, he's got a big grimace <laughs> I don't know if I like these camo pants or not kind of gives me an old uh, Dudley's feel even though it's yellow and and uh, black maybe it was going for the AEW colors I'm not 100% sure but on the back it's got a custom jacket. It says Mox. Um, pretty sure it probably comes off fairly easily if I just rotate the arms a little bit. But yep, looks like he's got a piece of uh, protective plastic there that I probably can just pull off, which we did, and. <sighs> Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, I really do want the, I want to say it's the next wave, or it might have been from the same wave, the Chase figure where he had like the, the eye patch, the pirate look for Mox, because I thought that one was really cool. I never picked that one up, but um, have to have to do some of those scalper prices probably to, to get my hands on that one. But I have to get lucky. Who knows? Regardless, um, cool looking figure. The... Uh, the championship uh, let's see yeah that's that's right championship is a beautiful little accessory they they have a really nice belt so that's pretty cool um does it slot on them fairly easily let's see oh yeah looks like it it's got a nice little um it's like four four pegs that just go into a couple of holes and looks good and then let's put
put on the jacket back on. The entrance jacket, not too bad. And it, and it fits pretty pretty well. Um, should have grabbed a couple another figure or something to see how he plays with them, but regardless, um, his articulation uh, isn't too bad. It's, it's got double jointed elbows and knees, rocker joints on the uh, on the foot. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's kind of lanky. Um, I feel like these figures are a little bit bigger than the um, the elites from Mattel. The WWE figures, but um, it doesn't really matter if you're just messing around with them. Looks like he's got a little a, a sigh tattoo there, and I think he's got a wedding band tattoo on his finger. Um, but yeah, pretty cool figure. Um, uh, yeah, I liked it. I, I remember I couldn't pre-order these fast enough because they were they were such hot figures when they came out. Um, couldn't they weren't you couldn't find them on the shelves so it's pre-ordering was your only hope so yeah they're a little more readily available you can find them online pretty easily now uh, in stores there's you know your peg warmers and then the hard to find guys they're still hard to find but still you got you can at least find some regardless thanks for watching like subscribe leave a comment let me know if you picked these up if you like John Moxley I think he's pretty awesome as compared to his his old uh, Dean Ambrose character in WWE which I wasn't a huge fan of but he won me over when I uh, went to New Japan and then AEW, so um, yeah, I like him. Uh, it's having a good title run, and he's a current champion now, so uh, have a good one. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.